Why China is winning the EV war Have you ever thought about why China is quickly becoming the biggest player in the electric vehicle business? We'll talk about the main things that have put China at the forefront of the EV revolution in this film. What tactics have Chinese companies used to get ahead of their competitors around the world? Come with us as we look at how new tools, government policies, and the way the market works are shaping the future of transportation. Don't miss the chance to learn the secrets of China's EV success. In order to reproduce its phenomenally successful approach of flooding global markets with cheaper produced goods that push the majority of Western competitors out of business, China is attempting to imitate this technique. In order to leverage global efforts on emissions reduction, one of the most important battlegrounds is the supply of electric vehicles, which involves exporting an ever more advanced version of technology worldwide. According to the most recent research on electric vehicles published by the International Energy Agency, there are significant discrepancies between the experiences and expectations of electric vehicle automobile manufacturers in China and those in Europe and the United States. According to the estimate, more than one in five automobiles that are sold this year will be electric, the 17 million vehicles around the world. Numbers have increased by 25% in the first three months of 2024, which is almost equivalent to the percentage growth that occurred in the same period of time last year, but from a higher base. A dealership in Berlin that sells BID products that are manufactured in China. Car manufacturers in China are not subject to the same commercial pressures as their counterparts in Europe and the United States, who have provided large sales subsidies and other incentives. An upbeat and positive according to the data, the ongoing momentum that Fedi Byrol, the executive director of the IEA, maintains is obvious. According to him, the global electric vehicle revolution does not appear to be slowing down but rather is getting ready to enter a new era of expansion. The surge of investments in battery manufacturing suggests that the electric vehicle supply chain is continuing to advance in order to meet the ambitious expansion plans of automobile manufacturers. The continually lowering prices will also contribute to the acceleration of this momentum. There is no doubt that Chris Bowen, the Minister of Climate Change and Energy, will be ecstatic about the influence on the low adoption rate of electric vehicles among customers in Australia. However, how does this go in with the fact that customers' excitement for electric vehicle sales is decreasing in the majority of Western countries? Although the numbers are increasing, they are not doing so as rapidly as was predicted in the general consumer market. This is because early adopters have been accommodated and purchasers in the mass market are more worried about the cost as well as the range and charging facilities of the product. Barrel admits that the momentum is stronger in certain markets to a greater extent than in others. The reluctance is most noticeable in the United States, despite the fact that the Biden administration has provided subsidies. Nonetheless, it is also manifesting itself in the slowing rise of sales in Europe. Numerous conventional automobile manufacturers have already reduced or postponed their investment plans in order to transition away from vehicles powered by internal combustion engines as a direct consequence of the results. However, the catch for them is that Chinese exporters lead by BYD are aggressively undercutting them on prices, which is fueling a significant portion of the surge that is occurring in electric vehicle sales. For instance, it is anticipated that electric vehicles will account for nearly half of all automobile sales in China this year. This is in comparison to the fact that just one in nine automobiles in the United States and one in four automobiles in Europe are electric. However, China is producing a significantly larger quantity of electric vehicles than it requires for its local market. As a consequence, China's exports of electric vehicles increased by 80% to more than 1.2 million units in the previous year, which accounted for more than half of all sales worldwide. Elon Musk is unflinching in his drive to have Tesla fight back against Chinese competitors such as BYD and Li Auto. When he is not diverting himself by insulting Australian lawmakers over his unwillingness to take down harmful and violent posts on X, Musk is unflinching in his determination to have Tesla fight back. Last is despite the fact that Tesla disclosed last week that it had a 9% decrease in income for the first three months of the year due to a steep fall in sales, despite the fact that it had dropped prices on a variety of models. Now the business has made a commitment to speed up the debut of a more affordable vehicle, which will be known as Model 2 and was initially scheduled to take place in the second half of the following year. At the very least, his revelation caused a momentary increase in the share price of Tesla, which had plunged by 50% over the course of the previous nine months. At the same time, Musk is continuing to test the market's skepticism by basing his growth aspirations on Tesla's future in the provision of robotaxis and the utilization of autonomous driving systems. The onslaught of commodities from China To this day, the most pressing challenge for all non-Chinese automobile manufacturers, including Tesla, is figuring out how to compete with the flood of cheaper Chinese exports, which is further complicated by a glut of supply among all electric vehicle manufacturers. 
In light of the fact that China already has a far larger number of electric vehicle EV companies that are capable of surviving in a market that is highly competitive, the country's automobile sector is expected to cluster around robust champions. It is abundantly evident that Chinese automobile manufacturers do not face the same commercial pressures as Western corporations, despite the fact that the United States and Europe have provided substantial sales subsidies and other incentives in order to stimulate the electric vehicle industry. Beijing's pursuit of a national goal, which in this case is to dominate the global electric vehicle market, often translates into the government providing support to certain enterprises who are a part of that strategy and have supporting from the state. The potential for China's EV ambitions to put their own automobile industry in jeopardy is causing the administration of Vice President Joe Biden and the governments of Europe to become increasingly concerned. The companies that manufacture luxury automobiles in Europe are not just witnessing a decline in their market share in China, which is the largest automobile market in the world. In spite of the imposition of tariffs and the prospect of anti-dumping procedures, they are also forced to contend with rapidly growing competition from Chinese brands within their own country, notably for electric vehicles. Chinese businesses are also making significant investments in the establishment of EV operations in Europe, including the production of EV batteries. Janet Yellen, the Secretary of the United States Treasury, has issued a warning to Chinese officials that the United States will not allow China's excessive investment in manufacturing capacity, which will result in a wave of subsidized green technology exports, such as electric vehicles, that will be detrimental to the United States' efforts to re-industrialize and protect its jobs. As of right now, the matter is being discussed in a pretty low-key manner via bilateral trade negotiations. Joe Biden, on the other hand, will not want issues over the continued existence of the automobile sector in the United States to become another weapon in Donald Trump's election campaign. For instance, the United States already levies a tariff of 25% on automobile imports from China, but Trump is claiming that China will ship them to the United States market through plants in Mexico that are owned by China. He asserts that this will result in a bloodbath for the United States automobile sector in the event that Biden is re-elected and instead, he is pledging to impose a tariff of 100% on any automobile that crosses the southern border, despite the fact that the United States has a free trade agreement with Mexico. Be ready for the electric vehicle battles to escalate to deadly levels on a global scale. And there you have it, the remarkable journey of how China is leading the EV revolution. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.